G'day, welcome to EnviroTube News. We're in Chippendale, not Karingai, and it's a bit of a difference. Like for example, we've got motorbikes, and we've got cars, and we've got traffic, and instead of the normal peaceful vista of Karingai with the problems of cockatoos, we've got more urban density problems. Sustainability House is an incredible resource that Michael Mobs has set up to empower people to actually live in a more sustainable way. Today, I'm going to be showing him and the people he's invited, how easy it is to split a Dragona hive. This is a really good opportunity for you guys who are gardeners and passionate to talk and ask questions of Peter so that you can take stuff away and actually leave today as a qualified beehive splitter. Is that possible, Peter? Yeah, look, at splitting the hive, I actually did my first one without any knowledge. I, I knew it could be done, but I'd never done it before. Australian native bees, this species in particular, uh, had their egg mass in the middle of the hive. So what they've effectively done is, this box is in two halves. What happens is, when you pull the top half of the hive away from the bottom half, you actually pull away half the egg mass. Now, within that egg mass, you either have the queen or you have queen eggs, because uh, there's queen eggs typically scattered throughout the hive. By just pulling away half the egg mass and half the food supplies and putting it onto an empty hive, an empty bottom or an empty top, that's how you do your splits. Then while someone holds that down, you just literally go plonk and then someone goes plonk and the split. The split can happen in five seconds. Now they don't swarm like normal bees. The way Trigona do it is they find a home and they seed it with pollen and uh, honey and then the queen and a few workers go off to the new hive. Native bees are great because you can actually like this hive becomes two hives. When you split again, your two hives can become four hives. You know, anyone who's got their head around exponential sort of, you know, graphs and whatever, you can actually start putting out a lot of hive. So shall we do it? Yes. So I'm just going to now seal this because they're going to resin it all up. Uh, until they resin it up, it can fall apart. <laughs> now I'm just going to mark where this is because the bees have a very finely attuned GPS and the biggest problem with bees is just moving at a short distance, it throws, like a few centimetres doesn't matter, but a metre, they'll keep coming back to where they're supposed to go. So we're here and we're here. Two mallets, two chisels, well, uh, We need two flat-headed ones. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here, hammer, 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 lever it. Then what I want you to do, Michael, is lift the top one away and plonk it on that. Yeah, lift the single one or the No, back? the double. Double, and put it on there. Yeah, oh. maybe we can get someone else to put, do you want to put it on the top? So yeah. once we take that one and put it on there. I put that one on there. Yeah, except if you want some honey. Now, do you want to yeah, just scrape out some honey? Okay. Yeah, I've got a spoon on there. Yeah, spoon would be good. Okay, now, okay, lift it. Okay, now to put it on quickly because that's the hive that's got. Now, okay, the honey, where's the where's spoon? What do I do? Okay, just scoop some out. Now, there's the egg mass. Now, can we see a queen egg? That's probably a queen egg there. So, do we have something to sweep them off? Um, Must be the Buddhist a, in me. There's a, there's a brush just there. <laughs> no, okay, just quick, quickly because, that. and then we're just going to put it on. Okay, put it on. Good. Good. That's the split. Wow. It's as simple as that. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we need some masking tape. Do I put this back now? No, not till we masking tape it up. So that's it. Now this hive can be taken away. It, the bees can't get out. Carefully lift it. Okay, so this one's the one that's staying. So this curly bit here. They were the eggs. If you destroyed the eggs, you destroy the hive. That's so, the absolute... so you've got to get the honey around that curly. Yeah, yes, but the thing is, this honey collector has got the block on it, so the eggs won't have gone up into this honey collector. In this top third of the hive, you either have honey and pollen or it's empty, but you oh, won't I... have any eggs. Oh, I see. So this has been specifically set up just to collect honey. You can only harvest from the top, not from both of the hives. So these are the two thirds of the, of the old yes. hive? And that's going to go somewhere else, right? Yeah, so yeah. I suggest you put about a kilometre away. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, you check it out in here. It's very, um, very thin and Just very, in very the sweet. I'm going to try and say aloud what I understood to be the key steps. Firstly, you need an existing hive and then you need a new hive. And what you're doing is you're taking, depending on the design of the hive, but sticking with this one, you're taking the two existing 
um, top bits and you're putting them on a new hive on this bottom bit and then you're putting the new empty bits on top of that. So what you're doing is you're taking this honey to that and you're leaving uh, this honey that's down here to feed the new hive. That way they've both got some food. That's the key, that's the, that's the goal. The real key to this is the egg mass. Yeah. Uh, like you can get away with a lot as long as you keep the egg mass sort of uh, like a percentage of the egg mass. Right. So when you take away these top two uh, segments, yeah. you want to take half the egg mass away with you. Right. And if you don't, you're in trouble. So all you're really doing is putting two boxes um, on top of one. And um, when you've done that, as I've done here, or Peter's done, you just tape this up so that the bees that are in there can stay there and although it's bound by this tape they still haven't glued it up with their resin. resin. Yeah. Right. And what was really um, clear from the way people reacted to your presentation was everybody had the same reaction I did. I can do this, this is easy and I, I'm going to get my beehive going. Yeah. Very inspiring Peter. Yeah well it's, yeah. it's not esoteric knowledge is it? No, <laughs> no, well it is at the moment but, but with people like you it won't be. Well, and especially like there's a lot of people with hives in city who are never splitting them. No. Because they're afraid that they're going to lose oh. one. And oh. now I'm sort of giving you an insurance policy. Yeah. But let's let's have a sort of a small wager of like you know five cents. I reckon that they're going to live. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, let's hope so. So that's it. Well, there you go. Well, thanks for inviting me.